In the boundless ocean of the cosmos, where time dances to the rhythm of eternity, lies a story whispered through the eons. A tale of birth, chaos, and harmony. Welcome, dreamers, to the Solar Symphony journey through the enchanted realms of our cosmic neighborhood. I am your guide, your celestial bard, and together, we shall unravel the secrets of the worlds beyond. Long ago, in the cradle of the Milky Way, a great nebula swirled a cloud of dust and gas, pregnant with possibility. A star was born at its heart, igniting with fire and yielding. Our sun, a beacon of life and power. Around this mighty forge, fragments of that ancient cloud began to gather, spinning and colliding, shaping worlds from chaos. The planets took form, each a masterpiece of the cosmic artisan. From the fiery heart of Mercury to the icy dreams of Neptune, every world had its story, its song in the grand celestial orchestra. But how did it all begin? The answers lie in the heart of the nebula stars igniting, gravity sculpting, and the passage of billions of years, where time itself seemed to conspire to bring forth the wonders we see today. Our journey begins closest to the sun, where the light burns brightest and the shadows fall sharpest. Mercury, a world of extremes, orbits closest to the sun. Its surface bears the scars of ancient impacts, each crater a reminder of its violent past. With no atmosphere to shield it, days are blistering, while nights plunge into an icy abyss, a realm of silence and searing heat. Next is Venus, Earth's twin in size, but not in temperament. Beneath its golden shroud of clouds lies a land of unrelenting storms and volcanic plains. The atmosphere is a dense, choking inferno of carbon dioxide, trapping heat in a runaway greenhouse effect. Yet, there is beauty in its defiance, its enduring brilliance in the twilight sky. Earth, our home, is a miracle, a tapestry of oceans and continents, rivers and forests, deserts and ice. Here, life flourishes, from the deepest ocean trenches to the highest mountain peaks. Its atmosphere shields us, its magnetic field protects us, and its moon stabilizes us, guiding the tides and perhaps even the rhythms of life itself. And then, Mars the Red Planet. Once, it might have been alive with flowing rivers and vast lakes. Today, it is a desert world, its surface etched by wines and ancient waters. Olympus Mins, the tallest volcano in the solar system, and Vales Marineris, a canyon to dwarf all others, stand as monuments to its fiery past. Its two moons, Phobos and Dimas, are mysterious, potato-shaped fragments of rock, perhaps captured asteroids. Between Mars and Jupiter lies the asteroid belt, a region of countless rocky fragments remnants of a world that never formed. Ceres, the largest, is a dwarf planet with mysterious bright spots hinting at hidden ice or salt deposits. These stones, tumbling in the void, are relics from the dawn of our solar system, each one holding clues to its earliest days. Beyond the asteroid belt lies the realm of the giants. These behemoths of gas and ice command legions of moons and dwarf the rocky planets in every way. Jupiter, the first and mightest, its great red spot, a storm larger than Earth, has raged for centuries. Its atmosphere is a tapestry of swirling bands and chaotic storms. Around it orbit over 80 moon worlds in their own right. Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system. Callisto, an ancient, cratered relic, Io, with its erupting volcanoes. And Europa, an icy world with an ocean hidden beneath its frozen crust and ocean that may harbor life. Saturn, adorned with rings of ice and rock, is a celestial jewel. These rings are thin yet vast, stretching across hundreds of thousands of kilometers. Titan, Saturn's largest moon, has rivers and lakes not of water, but of liquid methane and ethane. 
and Enceladus, with its geysers spraying water into space, hints at a warm ocean beneath its icy shell. Further out still, the ice giants Uranus and Neptune await. Uranus, tilted on its side, rotates like a rolling ball. Its pale blue-green hue comes from methane in its atmosphere, absorbing red light and scattering blue. Its moons, like Miranda, are riddled with canyons and cliffs that defy comprehension testaments to ancient upheavals and collisions. Neptune, deep azure and mysterious, is a world of ferocious winds and dynamic weather. Its moon Triton, a captured wanderer, orbits backward a sign of its tumultuous capture by Neptune's gravity. Triton's icy surface and geysers of nitrogen gas hint at activity beneath, a reminder that even in the cold depths of the solar system, there is movement and life of a kind. Beyond Neptune lies the Kuiper Belt, a vast frontier of icy bodies. Here, Pluto reigns as a symbol of change and discovery. Once a planet, now a dwarf, it still captivates with its heart-shaped glacier and the stories it tells of the outer solar system. This is the domain of comets, icy nomads that venture close to the sun, leaving luminous trails in their wake. Each comet carries water, organic molecules, and the promise of what might have seeded life on Earth. And beyond even this lies the Oort Cloud, a sphere of icy bodies encasing the solar system, extending almost halfway to the nearest star. Here lies the boundary between our Sun's influence and the interstellar void a realm of endless mystery. As we drift back toward our blue sanctuary, the solar system hums its eternal song. A melody of creation, destruction, and rebirth a symphony of light and shadow, chaos and order. Remember, dear traveler, the universe is not just out there, it is within us. Every atom in our bodies forged in the heart of a distant star, every dream fueled by the infinite possibilities of the cosmos. So gaze at the night sky not as a stranger, but as kin to the stars, as a seeker of stories yet untold. Until next time, let the wonders of the universe guide your journey and the mysteries of the cosmos ignite your imagination. This is Distance Media, signing off with stardust in our veins and dreams beyond the horizon.